Hi everyone and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Rosana and today we're making two green salsas. If we want to be more specific, these are called salsas taqueras. As you can tell, they're named after tacos. That's because the texture and the flavor pairs perfectly with them. If you remember that carne asada taco recipe I made, well, now you have two, not four, two more salsas to pair them with. Let's get started. Okay, start by peeling 10 medium-sized tomatillos or one pound. To remove the husk, simply peel it back away from the tomatillo skin. Once peeled, you will feel a slight sticky film on the surface, but nothing a rinse will not take care of. Once all of them are peeled, go ahead and rinse them well. Next, place them in a medium deep pan with four cups of water or enough to cover the tomatillos. Place over medium high heat to boil. Once boiling, lower the heat to medium and allow them to cook. Meanwhile, place a comal or pan over low heat and once hot, place eight dried red chili peppers, mainly known as dried chile de árbol. Lightly toast as you move them and turn frequently. If you burn them, your salsa will taste really bitter. That's why it's really important to turn them constantly. You want them to become fragrant and you may get a few dark spots, but that's fine. Later on, I'll show you the end result. By the way, I won't fast forward this clip so you can see the real time this process takes. I know it will be helpful if you've never used or cooked with this type of pepper. Okay, once they look done, remove from the heat and let's take a look at them. You will be able to smell its toasted fragrance and as mentioned, a small amount of dark spots just like this won't affect it. Okay, let's check the tomatillos. They need to be cooked just until soft and the color is no longer vibrant. It'll take about 10 to 15 minutes. The perfect tomatillo will not burst. It will be soft and stay whole. Once they are done, remove from the heat and allow them to rest in the hot water for a few more minutes until the temperature drops. Salsas taqueras have a very smooth consistency, perfect for tacos, which is why we will be using the blender. Add all of the tomatillos, the toasted dried red chili peppers, two garlic cloves, and a small bunch of cilantro. Cover and blend until smooth and the pieces of pepper are no longer big, ensuring a flavorful salsa. I forgot the salt, not an issue, let's stop the blender and add it to taste. Remember, salt opens up the flavor, so it's very important we add it. Once we have the consistency desired, stop the blender. Taste to make sure it has enough salt and then transfer it to your display dish. In my case, I'm showing off my molcajete. If you have it, use it. Now for the jaw dropping ingredient. It will tie everything together and you will be running to make your own salsa. Take a whole avocado, remove the flesh and cut into small cubes. Transfer to the molcajete and with a spoon, carefully incorporate it into the salsa. Tomatillos are slightly acidic. When paired with the dried peppers, magic happens. The spicy complements every aspect of the tomatillo and the bits of creamy avocado are the perfect burst of flavor. The next salsa is jalapeno based and spicier. 
It's so creamy you may think I added avocados, but I did not. Let me show you how to make it. Take one pound or seven large jalapenos and cut the stem off. Then slice in half lengthwise and transfer to a bowl. Also measure out one and a half cups of canola oil and set aside until we need it. Since the cutting board is already out, dice up a quarter of a large white onion. In addition, also peel three garlic cloves and set both the onion and the garlic to the side for later use. Place a large pan or skillet over medium low heat and measure out an additional quarter cup of canola oil and add it to the pan. Once the oil is hot, add the jalapenos inside down. Allow them to saute and soften. During the process, they will develop a golden brown color and that's fine. Just make sure you don't burn them. If you feel the heat is too high at any point, feel free to lower it. Turn when the bottom has softened and brown. Then allow the other side to do the same. When they look done on both sides, transfer the soft jalapenos to a different bowl. Next, saute the onions and garlic in the same oil left from the jalapenos. Stir constantly until the onions are translucent and become fragrant. Once ready, remove and allow the jalapenos, onions, and garlic to cool down. Once the peppers, onions, and garlic are no longer hot, add them to a blender. Add a small bunch of cilantro as well. Lastly, pour in half a cup of the canola oil from the one and a half cups we measured earlier. Now you are ready to cover and blend. While still blending, carefully pour in the remainder one cup of oil in a thin stream until you've incorporated all of it. The oil is what's going to make the sauce deliciously creamy. Keep blending until you've reached a smooth creamy consistency. Let's not forget the salt. Add to taste and then resume on the blending until the desired consistency is reached. Transfer your salsa to your dish and taste to make sure it has enough salt. Both of these salsas are delicious. The jalapeno salsa may seem intimidating, but I chose to use jalapenos because they do have a milder heat as opposed to serranos, which are spicier. Remember, you could also remove the veins to help with the heat. I love everything about the salsa and the creaminess blows my mind every time. It is definitely packed with deep aromatic flavor. You will fall in love. The tomatillo salsa is milder in heat, perfect in every way. You could fry an egg for breakfast and top with the salsa or add it to tacos. The options are endless. You will be speechless. It is salsa time and you know it. But before we taste, I wanna invite you to subscribe, show your support by giving us a huge thumbs up and don't forget to click the notification bell because, well, I don't want you to miss out on any of the amazing recipes we upload, okay? Let's taste the tomatillo salsa. This also is light, refreshing, and the bits of avocado go perfectly with the salsa. Okay, now the creamy jalapeno one.
It is super creamy with a profound jalapeno flavor and a hint of sweetness that you are going to enjoy so much. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed both of these recipes. Remember that you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing rest of your day.